Howdy folks, it's Tall here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are halfway done with the Pyrenees excursion bush trip. Looks like for Lake 3 we get to land in some snow, which we haven't had ever, I don't think, in a bush trip. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's going to affect the runway and landing distance or not, but we'll find out when we get there. Lake 3, without further ado, here we go. Alright, let's come up here, repair and refuel, and we survived the last landing. Perfectly fine, I can't believe it. Um, I should give myself more credit than I do, probably, huh? Anyway, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go, so you can see where we're going. We will use autopilot with heading bug like usual, so we can sightsee out the window, but we still have to navigate manually, although last time we did get lost because the navigation was completely messed up, and we were able to decipher some of it and piece it together for two-thirds of it, but then the last third we just completely got lost. It was all screwed up, and we got lost not because of heading, but the timing was way too short. So we actually use Google Maps to help us get back, which is a bummer, but we do what we got to do. All right, we'll read about this in a minute. Hopefully it's somewhat, no, it's all screwed up. Launching, see? Oh man, this is all messed up already. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll for sure do the heading and the timing, but then reading about it is gonna be wrong. The um, bold points are correct, but everything else is wrong. So, I can't believe it. I just can't believe the bush trips are so messed up. And, um, I don't know. At the time you're watching this, though, there's been at least one sim update and probably at least one world update. Maybe it's fixed by the time you watch this, but at the time I record this in mid-ish May or whatever it is right now, um, I think you're watching this in the beginning of August, so it's been a couple months, but I don't know. At the time of this recording, it's a disaster. All right, so... We're going to do one, no, we're going to do two sets of flaps to take off out of here. But we do have the back taxi, I think, because we want to use the full runway. I can't believe we landed. Look how short a distance we landed. And stopped. And we didn't hit those trees. I wish there were replay modes so we could see how close you were to those trees. I know there's a replay mod, but I run it completely mod free. So, no replay mode for us. I am just enjoying the scenery. There's an airplane there. How beautiful. Just to sit and hang out. Man. By the time you watch this, I've been to Cancun and back with my family. But I kind of would rather go here. Right? I know I'm sure I'm going to enjoy Cancun. I haven't been there yet. By the time you watch this, I already have. But how gorgeous is this? Just serene and quiet and water with mountains. Can you hear the birds? Nah, the airplane noise is in the way. Oh, there's a little hut over here. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, let's go back inside and let's see what we got to do. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, let's get autopilot set up. But for, well, first of all, let's see where we're headed here. Um, in terms of headings, assuming they're correct, we're going to go pretty much northish, northish, westish, 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 northish. And we're getting into the snow. So we're going to go north and north, west and west. Okay, so we're going to head along the mountains, but not quite in the mountains. So let's see where we're at. Now we're at 2,000 feet now. Just a barometer, 1,700. Let's see if... Oh, gosh. No, let's do 7,000. I was going to see if 5,000 will be okay. Let's do 7,000 and then come down if we don't need to go to 7,000. So flight director, we're using heading bug for navigation to hold it so we can look around. Vertical speed... Um, let's start pretty aggressively. That's not aggressive for this plane. Let's start 1100 and then we'll, um, adjust accordingly as we get higher. And then we already talked about the condition of the red lever and how to get more power. And I proved that I had to pull it back almost halfway to get our full power going up again when we're at 12,000 feet. So that is something you need to know how to do if you do a bush trip like this. We have had other bush trips in the mountains though. So it's not the first time I talked about it. Okay, let's see. That is all we need to do because if we read about this, it's crap. But we're going to turn it 332, which is like this. We're going to 332. Actually, let's just, because we don't have to worry about wind in these bush trips except the Patagonia one, let's just um, turn around instead of back. Well, we'll use the direction we are headed as back taxi because we don't need to worry about wind in these bush trips. Okay, um, wrong, wrong, wrong. After launching from the Aerodromo de la Cerdania, head to the west-southwest, west-southwest of 332? Because 332 would be 
Oh, this is wrong. West, southwest. Yes, 273 is west, southwest. No, it isn't. It's two, well, yeah, when you're up higher, it's a little bit different. But 332 is like northwest. See, turn to the northwest. From the Sago village, we all, that was from last, that was from two bush trips ago. This is like two bush trips ago. How am I supposed to find any of this when it's all wrong? Wrong. This title should be right. But this is after launching, which should be here, because there should be no title to launch. Okay, so no title to launch. 332. It says 333. What happened? 332. Whoopsie doopsie. Two minutes only. After launching, head to the west. 332 is now west-southwest. It's north well, it's north northwest. Oh my gosh. To Belverde kind of Pyrenees town. Okay, let me do something quick. Let me look on Google Maps and see where this town is and compare it to our map and just see what's happening because if I can at least use the heading and timing, I don't care if the description is wrong. We'll get the title in bold of what we're looking for. And we'll get our heading and timing. If the description is wrong, I don't care. Because um, we can always Google the heading on our own if we want to, right? Okay. Um, so, let me make sure. Okay, where are we in relation to... Hang on a second here. i got to compare Google Maps to where we actually are. Oh, this is so wrong. Oh my gosh, so if I put where we are by looking at this lake with the hook and then that big spot there and then a gap and then this thing sticking out. Okay, so I found us on Google Maps. In fact, I have the airport on Google Maps, so I know I'm in the right spot. Okay, I have the airport on Google Maps. Belverde Seriana, Serdana is, if I look at Google Maps, like two legs ago to the far east, way over here, which we've already been. So, this is already so screwed up. So, we're going to follow the heading, we're going to follow the timing, we're going to do look at the title and we're just going to ignore every description we have so let me put in google maps let me put in monte perdido which is the first thing that comes up because it's nearby and that is and we, okay that's correct that is correct so the headings are correct because if we go 332 and then 342 yes and it's all snowy and it's huge okay so the headings and timing are correct as well as the bold, we think. <laughs> Is there a description for Monte Perdido in here? Look at that, see launching, that's in there twice. I don't see anything about Monte there, no. Nope. Okay. So, we're going to follow the headings, we're going to follow the timings, we're going to look at, we're going to, yeah, we're going to look at the titles of each thing, and then we'll just have to Google it if you want to know what it is. So here we go. I think we're good. We are going into the high mountains after all when I looked at where that is. So we're going to go 10,000 feet for now. We'll climb more if we have to. And we're all ready to go. So let's um, hop outside for our nice taxi view because this is what I like to do for taxi view. And let's go maybe. The parking brake on. Yes it is. It was. We're just going to go out here and we're going to go until we get to that end of the runway. And then we'll come back and we will enjoy the bus trip even though it's all screwed up and i'm going to put in a bunch of zendesk tickets not a bunch i can put in one i'm going to say you know all of the iberian peninsula bus trips are screwed up all of the ones that um like the italy ones are all screwed up the portugal ones all right anybody need a restroom break anybody need to change their undies after that last landing um because they're not done yet folks <laughs> We are not done yet. 
We're gonna keep going off here. We don't need nearly this much runway. It's a lot longer of a runway than I thought. In fact, the next runway is actually probably shorter. But, um, still made me nervous anyway. So let's go. See, we should have landed from the other side, see? It would have been smarter to land from the other side. But we don't know where you're going. You don't know. And if you don't do an inspection pass, you don't know either. So we should be doing inspection passes, but um, we like to live on the edge a little bit. All right, there's the sun over there. That is so cool. All righty, we're ready to take off. Uh, we will do it in the cockpit takeoff. And here we go, whoopsie doopsie. And one of these is my side view. I don't know which one, there it is. Oh gosh, oh gosh, torquing like crazy like it's supposed to. Is that car moving? It is. Move out of my way, buddy. Okay, here we go. And up, 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 up. And there we go, nice and smooth. Step on the brakes, stop the wheels, flap coming in, and over the trees. Flap coming in. <gasps> Look at that valley over there. I want to see it. We got to fly. Look at that. Alrighty. Two minutes out. Oh, let me get my stopwatch back going here. Whoa, let's stop that. Two minutes out, and then um, we will change heading slightly and head towards this mountain we're supposed to be looking at, which we don't really know anything about it other than it is called Monte Perdido. Or I think it was Perdido. I, I saw it with the accent on Google Maps. Let me pull up Google Maps so I can see what it is. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's not the, um, uh, yeah, sorry. The accent was there when I was searching it, but the accent went away when I put it on the map. Okay, let's keep her heading. Sorry, I was falling in the water because it was cool. Look outside a little bit, and um, we will enjoy this as best as we can without proper without proper navlog. I don't know what else to say. We got way off course here because I'm enjoying the scenery a little bit too much. Let's overshoot the heading bug. See? Then we'll get back on track. Then we'll go back to the heading bug. And then in a minute we'll read about, not read about the mountain, we'll just get the heading information. So here we go. Let's get back on track over this valley. Climbing steeply, steeply as I'm comfortable with. We will go to autopilot in a moment. In fact, let's just go to autopilot now. And let's bring our nose down a little bit. Um, so if I were flying without making videos, I would hand fly it all pretty much. But because I'm making videos, and I like to jump outside in drone view, that was really loud. Um, we use autopilot with heading bugs so we can do shots like this. And take some screenshots and look around without me talking. But my drone controls are on my you can pedal so I can't fly at the same time. So that's why we do it like this. And it's been working out fantastically. Okie dokie, it's been two minutes or something, whatever it said. Two minutes, yep. Alright, so we go reset the timer, change to 342. Which isn't much of a difference here, just get on the right knob. And now we're going to Monte Perdido. It's going to be seven or eight minutes out, so we're probably headed to here. Probably. That's what I would guess. Um, not very complicated to figure out. Uh, let's go like that so we have an idea where we are. So we're going to climb, climb, climb. I will use any bug to go around the mountain if we get too close and we're not high enough. Um, and then in about eight minutes, we'll be not read about Glacier this lurk. We will just set our heading to it. And um, that's all there is to it. Sightseeing time. I feel a little frustrated that the nav log is screwed up yet again but that's okay we're learning to deal with it so it is fine yeah that's definitely a mountain in front of us so let's um what's the next heading the next heading is 306 maybe we'll turn that way a little early just so we don't hit the mountain but we have to then overshoot the mountain before we turn to 306 or else we'll be too soon right because if we go here do 306 is fine. If we go here, do 306, we'll be wrong. And we'll cut down some time. So we're going to aim for right there. Okie dokie. 
There you go. Okay, sightseeing time. I'm going to shut my mouth. I've done way more talking on this bush trip so far than I planned to. But that's part of it too, right? Talking about what we're doing. So you can learn something. I know everybody gets something from every video. That's the point. Hope you enjoy the sightseeing though. I'm going to rest my voice. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, just for those keeping track, I did adjust my conditioners. I pulled them back about quarter fifth of the way to get more power, so now I can increase my nose. Whoop, yeah, my nose a little bit to increase your climb. Come on, come back. Where's the click spot? There you are. Um, let's do about 700 feet per minute because we're still good. In fact, the predictive tells us we can go higher more steeply. Get into optimum climb range there. There we go. See how that works? All right, we're almost at the mountain. We got a couple minutes left on the timer. Let's turn a little bit more towards the west to avoid the highest part. And then once we get into this vicinity, we'll read about, not read again because it's wrong. We'll see where their next heading is, or next, when I say heading, I mean object heading, I guess you'd call it, POI name, and then we'll do heading, heading. 306 which we're almost there but anyway just want to break in and tell you i am adjusting the throttle as needed or not throttle conditioners sorry to keep her power and um we're going to keep climbing so see you in a little moment here i really got to keep an eye on her speed All right, we have reached our time, and we're right next to the mountain, which is that peak we're right here. So we're good. We're going to fly another brief moment, though, before we make our turn, but we're basically where we want to be. There's your mountain there. Did I see what's the other one? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's the right place. It's because it's so far away that it looks like it's near us, but actually it's quite a bit away yet. Um, so let's see here. What we want to do eventually is we want to go 306 to a glacier, um, which is not this description. I don't see anything about a glacier here, so there's nothing to read. Let's see. No, grass here shift. That's where we landed. Um, nope. Nope, nope. Okay, so we don't get any information about the glacier other than it's 306 for four and a half minutes, which we're not going to do quite yet. All right, I am on Google Maps because I want to get some information about what we're doing, and we are looking at the border of Spain and France. So um, this mountain ridge that you see up there, that is the border of Spain and France right along the ridge. And the glacier, which is, I think, going to be that... That is the border of Spain and France. So this entire bridge line is the border. So that's where we are, if you're wondering. Um, do we need to climb more? Gosh. I feel like we need to climb more. Um, yeah, so the glacier, I'm looking... I don't like using Google Maps, but because we don't have any description telling us what we're looking for other than just heading and stuff. Like, it'll only say, look for this body of water. We don't have that right now. 
so I'm just using a little bit of help. Um, so the glacier, I'm trying to compare lakes here. Okay, these two. I'm trying to compare the lakes to what I'm seeing. Okay, so this is way over there. Okay, so we have that. We have these kids. Okay, those three. Okay, there we go. The glacier is right here, that dark spot. So we're already south of it. So let's navigate. Let's manually do this a little bit here. Let's make a course correction. We're going to take this valley right next to the glacier, which is that dark spot. So do we need to climb for this? I think we do. So let's climb. We did 12,000 feet before and we were successful. So let's go back to 12,000 feet. Vertical speed. I think we can do 300 feet per minute. I just have to keep my mixture coming back. I've been moving it back little by little. See how it bumps up if I move it back again. So I've been moving my mixture back little by little. I'm a good third of the way back. Um, to hit 12,000 feet before, we're almost halfway back. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Let's manually navigate through this valley up to the glacier. And then we will um, see how it goes. Yes. I've been doing this long enough. I think we can do it without any issue. Um, let's just enjoy those mountains in the deep, deep valleys with the river. Wow. Breathtaking even in the simulator, even though the rendering is kind of crappy. But whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Remember, I started simulators when you just had a green thing to look at. Right, so there's the glacier right there. It's obvious when you look at it even though we were kind of picking it apart in here, but it's really obvious when you're looking at it. So we're going to climb, and we're not going to hit it. Don't worry, that is actually very, very, very far away. We're just going to follow this valley, even though we're way above the valley, but we're going to follow the valley anyway and um, go around this glacier. Aim it up in here, and then we'll... Um, figure things out from there so I will give you some sightseeing how we get to the glacier making adjustments with both the conditioner and my heading as we go and um whoopsie let's go this way and yeah see y'all in a couple minutes Okie dokie, there is our glacier right there. Just is, where's my preset? <laughs> Just as we get to 12,000 feet, which is perfect. Perfect to get over it. And I've been bringing my conditioners back even more. Now we're more than halfway back. And look at that, bringing back even more. We can get more power out of it. So there we go. All right, cool. We are going to settle down now at 12,000 feet. And look at those little lakes. That is so amazing. So amazing. Alrighty, what is next? Um, now we're gonna do the do two seven. We're gonna do two seventy three. We're gonna turn the two seventy three, which is like this, right? Two seventy three, and we're gonna look out the window because that's the cool part. Look at that. Reset my timer, and um, we'll read about not read. We'll get the heading or the subject or the POI name, whatever where we're going let's just look at this glacier again that is so cool that's so awesome all right uh 273 for eight minutes to kandanchu which is not this so whatever kandanchu is if it's a village or a lake i have no idea um, but we're gonna go this way for eight minutes and find out <laughs> and i'll see you in a couple minutes
All right, so um, our timing is going to put us right over this town, which I think is what we're supposed to be looking for. So, I mean, that would make sense with the timing and heading, and there's a little town there, so that whatever that thing was in the description. Um, Kandanchu. Kandanchu, or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure that's a town that we're supposed to be looking at. So, we made it. We'll have to Google what it is to get a description of it, though. But otherwise, that looks like what we're supposed to be doing. So let's head back inside and let's set our heading to the next thing, which will be uh, 261, which isn't much of a difference. So we'll come down to 261 and restart our timer here. And do 261 for 6 minutes and 21 seconds. And it doesn't say where we're going because this is where it says to take off. So I don't know where we're going in 6 minutes and 21 seconds. We're going this way. Something is there, though. Um, then after that, we'll turn back. We're going to keep our altitude because we have to cross this range, it looks like. So maybe that's where we're going is the range, which is actually right underneath us. Because we're so high, it's further away than it actually is. Than it looks, I mean. Because it looks, I'll show you. It looks like it's right below us, right? But it's actually quite a ways away. We're going to cross that because we're only 30 seconds in. And I don't know what we're going to find. Something in 6 minutes, 21 seconds. A little bit of sightseeing for you. I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, it's not time to go to the next heading because we're only five minutes in and we're looking for six minutes, I think. Something like that, 621. But we're going to start coming down now because if you look ahead, it's all downhill from here, so to speak. So we're going to start descending because we're at 12,000 feet and we don't need to be. In fact, let's hop outside and look at that. We do not need to be this high anymore. So let's take a screenshot of that, come in here and bring altitude down. Let's go down to 8,000 for now. Let's go down to 7,000 for now. I want to go lower, but not quite yet. So let's start a descent. Whoops, vertical speed down. Let's do 800 feet per minute. And we'll bring throttles back here so we don't um, overspeed. Here we go. And we're at our time. So maybe we're supposed to be looking at the rivers. Let's hop outside and see if there's anything here. Um, Oh yeah, look at there's a city. Okay, so we're supposed to be looking at this city. Um, are we over? What's happening? Overspeeding? Why do we get that? We're not overspeeding or anything. Anyway, that's what we're supposed to be looking for. I don't know what it is though, but that's what we're supposed to be looking for. It's like on a hill. It's like it's sitting on a hill. Alrighty, cool. Alrighty, ooh, there's a big river over there to the left. That's awesome. Man, let's bring my props a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, um, look around briefly, stop the stopwatch, restart it because we're over time now, and let's look at the next heading, that was 261, so now we're going to heading 254, so go down to 254, and Burgui, Burgi, Burgui, not, the, this guy, his 
been born in like 10 different places. The Salvador Dali. So that's kind of funny. But we're headed to here. I assume it's like a town or something. But we'll find out in three and a half minutes <laughs> in this direction what we're looking for. I'm going to manage the systems here and give you some sightseeing if I can. That looks really cool. And I'll see you at whatever that place is in a couple minutes. Alright, we're already where we're supposed to be. That was fast. See how these rivers all meet in a place and then there's a town under it? Let's go back to the sightseeing view. Bam! There's our burgy, burgy thing. But whatever that is. <laughs> but there you go, where all the rivers meet, then they stop apparently, and then they go again. That's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, look at There's that cool thing there, whatever that is. Alrighty, so that's that. Let's move along here. We start the timer and hop inside and see what we're doing next. So that was that place. And now we're going to go to 217, which is more to the south. Like this. There we go. And Embalse de Yesa, which is not described, but I'm assuming we're heading towards this lake. Four minutes out? I don't know. We're going to go this heading for four minutes and see where it takes us. Let's slow down a little bit here. We're coming up on our 7,000 feet. Are we good? Are we good at 7,000? It's going to be close. It's going to be close, but we'll make it. See you in four minutes and we'll see what this place is. Trying to get my conditioners back, but it was, there we go. Okay, I assume we're looking at this gigantic lake. Sorry, distracted by my vital systems here. Looking at that double lane road down there, too. So we're over this lake. Let's hop outside super fast. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Fabulous. All right, that's a good shot, too. All right, we'll keep coming down here in a moment once we cross that other ridge. Okie dokie, restart the timer. And what are we doing next? So far, this way of navigating is okay. Bring back those props a little bit. Um, let's see, 276. So not, oh yeah, quite a bit of turn to the west here. 270. No, come back. 276. There we go. Okie dokie, we're going to do 276 for three minutes. And it's not a runway. It's Laidena. Laidena. Could be a town. Could be a river. Probably a town at the end of the lake, I assume. 
I don't know. You can Google it if you want to know, but we're going to guess it's down at three minutes out. I'll see you there. Alright, it's almost been the time we're looking for, so let's um, see what's coming up next after we enjoy some more views out the windows. But yeah, we're over a town right now with a wind farm in front of us along the ridges, and we're going to descend out to 5,000 feet. But anyway, there you go. There's a little town right here with a huge highway system around it. So isn't that cool? Very cool. Look at that wind farm. That is insane. All right, a little bit more than views out the window. Look at that mountain range over there. And there are the Pyrenees, Pine, Pyr Pyrenees, 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 Pyrenees. Again, I see this stuff in text all the time, but I don't actually say it. And um, looking back, I think we go back in a little bit for the final leg of the bus trip, but we have this one to complete first, the penultimate leg, and then we have a final leg. So here we go. What is next? Let's start the timer. And we're at 276 now. So now we head to the airport, which is Lima Echo Lima Echo, which is right here. There we go. We don't need anything for that. We know exactly where we're going. We just have to descend in time. So um, let's kill autopilot and flight director and bring back throttles, everything else forward, and let's head down to the runway, which we should spot pretty easily from up here. However, we're probably going to have to circle to land a little bit because um, we're very, very high, and of course we're at full speed. Yep, there it is right there. Right there. There's no snow here, but there's snow in the preview. That is fascinating. So what we'll do, we'll go like this, and we'll set runway heading here in just a moment, which is pretty much like this so let's hit the heading bug boom that'll set runway heading now we know where runway is and we'll just fall fly alongside of it as though it's our downwind leg and then we'll land from the other direction so let's check out these ridge lines as we go look at that super cool old agriculture that highway over there with a bunch of roundabouts another little town and I think for this, we're going to try to slip it. Why not? But let's not stress the aircraft. So we'll do right rudder, left wing down. And what that will do is look at our descent and how fast we're going down, but we're not gaining any speed. And we're not turning either. We're just coming down like a big rock really quickly and not gaining any speed and not turning. So we got right rudder, right rudder, and left wing. That's what I'm doing. We're slipping it. Flaps are in. Working pretty well, isn't it? Pretty dramatic, but that's how we're going to do this so it doesn't take an hour to come down. And let's come out of the slip now. Release the rudder, release the wing, look out the window, and there is our runway. We're still pretty high, though. But we'll give ourselves enough space so that we can slow down as well. And looking back, so normally if we were at the right pattern altitude, we would turn back now, but we're still pretty high, so we're going to give ourselves a little bit more space here. And we're kind of fast, too. The speed I'm not so worried about, because we'll bleed that off as we level off. Alrighty, what do you think? think? We can make that with the speed. Altitude is good, but our speed is pretty high, but let's try it. Let's try it. We can always slip it again before we bring off flaps. So here we go, turning on to base leg now. Basic traffic pattern stuff, our throttle is still completely back, props and conditioners are both forward, and there we go, let's follow this river and have a look. There's our runway, let's stop descending, or else we'll lose sight of it. So we'll bring back, we'll bring back the yoke to stop descending so that we slow down. Normally you would throttle 
to stop descending, but I want to slow down as well. So there you go, first set of flaps. Now we'll engage the throttle so we don't descend anymore. And we'll use pitch to control our speed, throttle to control our descent. And we're going to keep our pitch the same because I like my speed, but we're bringing throttles back so we start descending a little bit. Pitch up because we're getting kind of fast, throttles back. And this will be a full flap landing. Throttles all the way back so we descend more quickly. This airport is closer than I thought. Second set of flaps. Do not use your flaps as brakes, although they kind of work that way sometimes. And full flap. And we're a little fast, but we'll bleed that speed off right at the very end here. We're going to try to aim for before that touchdown zone or right on it. Um, it's a very short runway. I think it's shorter than that grass one, actually. See, our speed is coming off very easily. Let's throttle now. We don't want to descend anymore right now because we want to be able to see where we're landing. If we get too low, we lose sight of it, which we are doing. We're a little bit too low, but that's okay. We're going to touch down right about now. Here we go. Soften the blow. Boom, that was our roughest landing we've ever had in this airplane. And let's bring back throttles and router. Um, but, uh, whatever. Rudders to adopt the ground loop and yoke all the way back and there we go. That was our worst landing we've ever had on this airplane. That's a bummer, but that happens sometimes. Again, 25 minutes longer than it's supposed to be. Wow, crazy. Anyway, you know the drill. Subscribe so you can see the final leg of the bush trip. Like so other people know we exist. And I will see you next time for the final leg.